Last tackle signal now for Canterbury. Lamb. The grubber kick is a good one. It's beaten docking, and there's a race for it, and that's a try. No try. Disallowed. Well, gee, I'd like to have a look at that. Well, you're going to because the State Bank lead file have a shot of it. There's Docking missing the ball. And we'll see the frantic dives now for them as they come to it. They appear to over dive over the top of it. The uh, fellow in the front there, Gillespie, he appeared to miss the ball to me and go over the top of the ball. Well, dramas for Cronulla. It was a great kick, wasn't it? Well, Joe. Magnificent kick from both Lamb and Farrah. Really putting their kicking game together and just the start that Phil Gould wanted their minds are well and truly on the job. They come up with another set of six tackles. Away goes O'Brien. Support back on the inside. This time will Gillespie score. No, Joe Thomas. He'll pick up his second try. Put that down to pressure. Canterbury have had all the possession and a fine kicking game. Number two for Thomas. Well, Thomas is getting to get a reputation like uh, George Watt, the hooker who used to score a hell of a lot of tries in his day. Here was O'Brien coming away with a very good run. Getting the pass back on the inside there nicely to Gillespie. Gillespie gets it away across the body there of one of the Canterbury players onto Thomas. And that was the end of the section as far as Cronulla were concerned. I really think it's probably the end of the section anyway. But here's the, the young lad coming away with a very strong burst up the sideline, going nicely, looks back on the inside, finds Gillespie, the big fella is too powerful, gets a pass across to Thomas, he can't believe he's good fortune, he's in for number two, and uh, two tries to a hooker in a, a match of this importance is uh, something, uh, let me tell you, I always consider if I ever scored two tries in a match, I should get £100, but uh, that was the way it was in those days. But back across to Gillespie, the big fella gets the pass away, and there he is in again, Thomas. Two tries in uh, the major semi-final by G. He'll remember this game. Thomas, the try scorer, and the replay showing there. Miller and Ron Quinn just about knocking each other out. And Quinn's uh, not a well man. Not surprised after that. And we have a replacement out there for Cronulla, Bill. Well, it's John O'Connor wearing number 17. And boy, don't they need him. They look tired to me, the Sharks. Well, there's a let off for them. Lamb missing that kick. Strong scoreline for Canterbury, though. The Bulldogs lead 14-4.